Hello guys. Welcome to what we want. A technology vlog. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reset Safari to default settings on Mac and iPhone. For more information, visit our article. Link provided in the description. If you are new to our channel, click on the red color subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. Without any delay, let's get started. Firstly, let's reset on Mac. To reset Safari to default settings on Mac, you need to go through five sections. They are Browsing History Temporary Files and Cache Cookies Plugin and Extensions Terminal Number 1. Clear Browsing History Launch the Safari browser on your Mac. Click on the History option available in the top menu. An options list will open. There you will find the Clear History option. Click on it. Then a small window will pop up. Click on the drop-down options of Clear option. And choose the All History option. Later, click on Clear History option. Number 2. Clear Temporary Files and Cache. To clear cache and temporary files, you need to enable the develop options. To enable the develop option, click on the Safari option available in the top menu bar. An options list will open, and there you will find the preferences option. Click on the preferences options. Then a window will pop up. Click on the advanced option from that window. And on the advanced settings, you will find an option as show develop in menu bar. Check in the option by clicking on it. From now you will find the develop option in the above menu bar. Click on the develop option. An options list will open. Choose the empty caches option from that list to clear the cache and temporary files. Number 3. Clear all cookies. Click on the safari option from the above menu bar. Choose the preferences option from the list. A window will pop up. Choose the Privacy option by clicking on it. And from the Privacy options, click on Manage Website Data. Then it shows all the available website data. If you find any, click on the Remove All option. And later, click on Done. Number 4. Disable, Delete Plugins and Extensions. In the Preferences window, choose the Websites option. There you will find the plugins installed. If you find any, click on Remove option. Later, click on Extensions option. There, you will find the extensions. Remove all those extensions if you find any. Number 5. Reset Safari to default setting using Terminal. Even though after trying the previous methods, there might be some traces of Safari browser. To remove the data completely from scratch, you can use this terminal method. But, you have to be careful and attentive while dealing with Terminal. Go to All Apps. And click on Terminal to launch. Later, type and execute the code each line carefully. Check description for the code. After executing all the lines, Safari will be rested to default settings. Now, let's reset Safari to default settings on iPhone. Number 1. Clear Browsing History. Go to Settings. Scroll down to find the Safari options. Click on it. Then you will find all the settings of Safari browser. Scroll a bit down and there you will find Clear History and Website Data option. Click on it. Then a small window will pop up. Click on Clear History and Data to delete the browsing history. Number 2. Remove Website Data. Move to the Safari browser settings. And, scroll to the bottom of that page. Click on Advanced option. Click on the Website Data option in the Advanced section. Then you will find all the website data. Scroll down to find the Remove all website data option. Click on it. A small confirmation window will pop up. Click on Remove Now option. And that's it, all the data will be cleared and Safari will be resetted to default settings. Hope you like this tutorial. 
For more information, visit our article. Link provided in the description. Subscribe to our channel for regular updates. And don't forget to hit the bell icon.